how to eat for basketball. I'm Tony. Welcome back to Street Boss Strategy. I don't make up, girl. I make songs. Barry Allen, I don't take long. Unless you really trying to take long with the dragon, like she take long. Break her back till we break dawn. Throw a barbecue on a great lawn. I'm Batman and I play spawn and I checkmate when we trade pawns. Today we're talking about how to eat your nutrition to optimize your body's performance during game days. We're gonna talk about how to eat before, during, and after games, and we're gonna focus on macronutrients, so proteins, carbohydrates, fats. But, little disclaimer right up front, if you've come here for specifics, you're watching the wrong video. We're not gonna get into exactly how much food, how many grams of this and that you should eat, when, how often. We're not talking specifics in this video. This is general guidelines to optimize your performance by eating optimally. So let's talk about the best guidelines for eating best for basketball. So the simple, easy, obvious answer to this up front is you should just eat a balanced diet and eating a balanced diet is the ideal way to go in the long run so that you have a balanced diet leading to balanced performance out here but there are ways to optimize your nutrition the way you eat around game days when performance is what we're looking for when it's the absolute most important time for your performance to be the highest quality it can be. There are ways to eat around that in order to make that performance the best it can be. Now I know that for many of you, you're doing this with the idea of your game is gonna take place on like seven o'clock on a Friday night, because maybe you play high school basketball and that's you know later afternoon is when your games are. That means for you, in that day you probably get to have breakfast lunch and dinner leading up to that game for me because i'm an outdoor recreational player our for our neighborhood our big game days were on saturdays at one o'clock so that for, meant for me i only get to have breakfast and lunch on that given day but it's not about how many meals you get to have prior to the game on a given game day it's how you structure them and the how you use them as fuel leading up to that game the reason i bring that up is because i want to rewind a little bit before we get to actually like the the meal you eat directly before the game even though it is important i want to back up before that and go to the night before that game whether it be you play you know, on a Friday night or you play in like a Saturday afternoon like me, the sleep you get the night before that game is crucial. To me, if you made me choose between what's more important, is nutrition more important or sleep more important leading up to a game day especially, I would say sleep is head and shoulders way more important than any nutrition leading up to that game day. Because I have that belief, to me, the meal leading up to your bedtime before that game day, that meal is also crucially important because it's all about whatever leads you into having the best quality sleep you can before that game day. That pre-bed meal, whether it's dinner, whatever it is, that meal is so important because it allows your body to have the best most quality sleep it can before your performance the next day. So you're gonna have to experiment, figure out what kind of meals, what kind of macros go into allowing you having the best sleep that night before. Many players find that wrapping up their carbohydrates in the last meal of the day before you go to bed allows them to sleep better, have better quality sleep at night. If that applies to you, then do whatever it takes for you to get a little bit more carbohydrates before you go to bed. Whatever whatever combination, whatever works best for you in order for you to have the best kind of quality sleep the night before game day. Sleep is so important, I cannot emphasize that enough. To me, bad sleep and good nutrition kind of even each other out where like, okay, you'll have a decent game the next day even though you had bad sleep but if you have great sleep but you didn't eat that great you're probably gonna to me in my experience you're gonna have a much better day 
playing the game because you had great sleep and bad nutrition than if you had the opposite. So however you have to eat the night before game day leading to that great quality sleep, that's how you eat every single time the night before game day. When you're at the actual game day and the meals leading up to the game, you want those meals to act as a ramp getting your body, your energy to optimal levels. But it's important to define what we mean by optimal levels. What are we looking for when it comes to the nutrition, the, the end result of the nutrition? What are we looking for when it comes to our performance? Essentially what we're looking for is slightly elevated blood sugar levels that are steady throughout the game, steady throughout the day. And you want to use the meals leading up to the game to slowly raise that blood sugar and so that at game time it levels out and becomes steady for the rest of the day or the game. To do so, to raise that blood sugar to keep it steady is going to require a good amount of carbohydrates. And because we want that blood sugar to be steady, we want that those carbohydrates to be slow digesting carbohydrates. Carbohydrates that break down in your body slowly so that over time your blood sugar stays steady and then slowly begins to drop. Meaning your energy does the exact same thing. Now in terms of like how much you should eat, depends on like how many meals you have between the beginning of the day and your actual game. Like I said, my philosophy is to ramp it up so at the beginning of the day, like if you're able to have breakfast, lunch, and dinner, then as those meals go on, you're kind of ramping the amount of food that you're eating up so that when it comes to game time, right, you're not full, but you're completely satisfied. Like you're, you're like filling up your tank but you don't have to fill it completely so that you feel like uncomfortable or sleepy or like you can't move because you've eaten too much. You're just slowly raising the amount that you have in your tank so that at game time it's just, it's optimal so that you feel as good as you possibly can. Now while carbohydrates are important in terms of blood sugar and thus energy, we also need to talk about protein because when we're talking about game day, right, we're talking about you're going to be out here playing absolutely as hard as you can, pushing yourself, pushing your muscles to their limits and maybe beyond. So therefore, it's important to have good quality protein involved in what you eat leading up to game day as well. And it's not really strength because strength kind of means like all of the preparation that you put in prior to this game. The weeks, months, years of preparation that you've put in to getting here, the way you've eaten the protein that you've been take, you know, prior to this game. Like strength is based off of that. Like strength and muscle are built over time. It's a very slow process to do that. We're not talking about like strength when we're talking about, you know, eating protein prior to games. We're talking about protein because when you're putting your muscles through the absolute, you know, pinnacle of tension and stress they're going to go through in a given game for a given situation, we want that muscle to have the nutrients to draw on and from as it's breaking down by working so hard. So your muscles will get less fatigued during a game because you added in some protein prior to your game for that day. They'll have less fatigue, they'll break down less slowly, thus they will work more efficiently, and thus you'll be able to play better because your muscles are just working better. And then when it comes to fats, fats are important also because of your joints, right? You, joints, fats help to lubricate your joints. So your joints work better, more properly, and are less susceptible to injury. Also, fats help your cognitive abilities, your decision strategy making abilities on the court. And the hierarchy of these macronutrients go carbohydrates, protein, fats. Now we're only talking about specifically meals right before games. Otherwise, I would be saying protein, carbohydrates, fats. Like overall in general, like when you're preparing throughout the week, I think it should be proteins, carbohydrates, fats. But when we're talking about right before the game, carbohydrates are what you should prioritize and have the most of, followed by protein, 
followed way down by fats because a lot of people find that the more fats they ingest, the more oils, whatever, that they take in before intense exercise, it can make them nauseous. It can upset their stomach. A lot of times when you see the cliche of, you know, like in the movies or TV, when somebody's forced to do exercise they don't really want to do and they end up throwing up because of it. Yes, part of that's probably because they're out of shape, but part of it's also because they didn't eat properly before doing that exercise. They had way too much fat prior to it. It upset their stomach, made them nauseous, and now they're throwing up. So while you should have some kinds of fats, some amount of fat, you should be cognizant to keep it low because you don't want that to be on your stomach, possibly upsetting your stomach. So when you're looking to eat before a game and optimize how your body feels and performs, use those meals to ramp your body's nutrition up over time. Start with smaller meals, smaller amounts, less calories at the beginning, and then work your way up so that by the time the game starts, you feel optimal. You have, you've eaten mostly carbohydrates with a little bit of protein and a tiny bit of fats, and now you can just feel your body ready to perform the way you expect it to perform. In terms of like during the game, during competition, like in between games or in timeouts or whatever, when you have a break, it's, you don't really have to eat, especially the closer you eat to the game. Like that food's gonna be in your stomach for two, three hours, right? You don't have to worry about like re yourself during a, a, a game that's only gonna last a couple hours. Even if you're out here five, six hours playing recreational basketball like I do, you really don't have to worry all that much about refeeding unless you're playing so intense for, you know, four plus hours game after game with very little breaks in between. You really don't have to really worry about like refeeding during a game. What is most important though is rehydrating, especially the more you sweat. Like if you're playing outdoors and it's hot, it's humid, and because of that you're really sweating, like the more you sweat, the more you're gonna have to rehydrate. Water is okay, but it doesn't contain any electrolytes, right? So it may quench your thirst, but it's not really going to fix the dehydration. Obviously the standard for this is Gatorade, Powerade, that kind of stuff. That stuff works, it's fine, it's not great, but it's completely adequate. So if you're, you find yourself sweating a lot or you're out here for a long period of time or you just find yourself getting thirsty during a game, it's perfectly fine to have Gatorade, Powerade to keep yourself hydrated during the game. Hydration is the main concern unless you're, like I said, out here for four plus hours playing really intense then you'll maybe have a protein bar, have some kind of quick, you know, source of carbohydrates with a little bit of protein that you can quickly ingest and it's not a big deal. Otherwise, just try to keep yourself rehydrated throughout the game. After the game day, your post-game meal should also be carbohydrate heavy. But also keep this in mind. Again, if you only play one game and you're done for the day and that was only like a couple hours or whatever then you don't need to eat immediately after the game it's not that important once you get to three plus hours you know since your last meal that's you know the further the meals are apart the more important that post game meal becomes but regardless of when you have it that post game meal should be heaviest on carbohydrates followed by protein and then some fats. The reason for this is, is because you want your body to recover as quickly and efficiently as possible. If your thought is, well, I'll just have protein, like I'll, I'll bulk up on the protein post game, that's fine. Like you're going to refeed your muscles doing that, but your body's not going to recover as quickly or as efficiently doing so like without carbohydrates or keeping carbohydrates really low because the carbohydrates are there to, again, steady out your blood sugar, allowing your body to then use carbohydrates to re-energize yourself and then because it's using carbohydrates to re-energize and refuel and recover itself it then doesn't have to use the protein to do so the protein can be used to 
specifically focus on filling your muscles. But if you only take protein or you keep, it's mostly protein, but your carbohydrates are really low, now that protein doesn't just go to refeeding your muscles, it also has to be used for refueling your body altogether. So instead, have carbohydrates be used for that, you know, the overall refueling recovery of your body, and then allow the protein to be used specifically for rebuilding your muscle. And then of course, fat is there to fuel your joint mobility and to cognitively refuel your mind as well. Also continue to drink, continue to rehydrate yourself. That's also going to help the carbs and the protein do what they need to do with like if you're dehydrated and you're but you are taking in carbs and protein, that's fine. But your body's not going to be able to utilize those macros as efficiently as they could if you were also rehydrating your body at the same time. So I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like this video, if you found it helpful at all, if you think that it's going to help you eat better prior to games leading to better performance when you do play, then please subscribe to the channel. And let us know down in the comments, how do you eat leading up to the game? Like what is your pre-game meal and how does it help you on the court. But before you comment, make sure you hit that thanks button down below because not only does hitting that thanks button highlight your comments, making them stand out from any other comment, but it also directly supports the channel when you hit that button. So for anyone that does hit that thanks button, no, I genuinely appreciate it. As always, like, share, comment, like I said, make sure you hit that notification bell so you're notified whenever any video goes live on this channel. And until then, I'll see you guys Next week. And stomp in the pavement for payment while they hurting for a paycheck. We ain't sitting around complacent. Every day we go and take it while they take their time. We out there for real. We ain't waiting. This the battlefield. The life we all can't make it.